Jonas would make fun of me because when we first met, he's like, how are you like such a good athlete, but you eat junk? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, I've just never had to worry about it. And I function just fine, like living off of chicken nuggets. So, and I probably drink chocolate milk more than I drink water. I hate water and I think it's disgusting. Why don't you meet me up in Tokyo? Okay guys, so today's YouTube video, we're gonna be talking about 20 things people don't know about me, which was actually really, really hard to do, but I just wanted to tell you guys because I feel like with social media, it's really hard to get to know people, and I feel like sometimes things seem really, really fake, and I really want you guys to get to know me. So, one, I was born dead. How crazy is that? I know, so crazy. I was born dead because my mom um, had me a month or, or, right, a month early? Yeah, I was born dead. My mom had me a month early. She was rushed into the hospital and she had to go into emergency C-section and basically I was dead. I don't know how many minutes it was, but too long, so I should have died, but they revived me and my mom actually was gonna get stitched back up, but the doctor decided not to do that and if he would have, she would have died because she was bleeding eternally from internally and was bleeding internally from <laughs> everything that happened so <laughs> he's, he's bleeding forever <laughs> Whatever. anyway don't put that in there so lucky to be alive and that's probably what stumped my growth honestly too because my siblings are five four and like five five so i don't really know what happened to me my brother's taller than that so i mean we're still on the shorter side but don't know why i'm even shorter than everybody else but I mean I do gymnastics so there's that I have 12 nieces and nephews six boys six girls my brother has six kids my sister has four kids and my other sister has two and I'm the baby of the family so no kids counted on yet so we're at 12 so far I hate mushrooms Ugh. I hate the texture I can't stand how they feel and they just don't taste good like why would you want to put that on anything especially like raw like ew I don't know how you guys do that mushrooms disgusting I also really hate seafood which is really bad because Jonas loves seafood and he loves sushi so I'm kind of getting better at trying sushi <laughs> get it in there <laughs> delicious I gotta get that face sorry <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but I just can't do seafood. It's gross. Salmon, kind of. I'll eat it once in a while, but I hate everything. Fish sticks, sushi, salmon, shrimp, crab, all of it gross. And don't even get me started. Not even lobster mac and cheese. Yeah, not even, yeah, not even lobster mac and cheese. Gross. Okay, so this one really irritates Jonas. And I feel bad about it, but it's just kind of a habit at this point. But when I'm nervous, I like to pick my lips, which is really, really bad. Or like whenever there's dead skin or like if I'm just in the car and I'm stressed and I'm overthinking about something, I just start picking my lips. So that's kind of a bad habit and I hate it, but that's what I do. Another thing that I really, really hate is bees. I cannot stand them. They freak me out. They're gross. They're fuzzy. And whenever one touches me, I just, I can't stand it. I feel like I'm going to get stung. But really fun fact is I've never been stung by a bee. So Jonas gets really annoyed because whenever there's a bee, I start twitching and freaking out. And he gets really embarrassed in public because I freak out over a bee. You act like you're dying. I do act like I'm dying. I hate bees. They're gross. Bugs are just gross. Like, ugh. I have really small feet. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but I wear a size five in women's and sometimes it's even like a five's kind of too big sometimes, honestly. So most of the time I buy kid shoes, which is awesome because they're really cheap and I get to save a lot of money. My favorite color is blue. I love blue. Blue is just my favorite color. It's so pretty. You guys will probably get a kick out of this one. I love chocolate milk and I probably drink chocolate milk more than I drink water. I hate water and... I think it's disgusting and I've gotten a lot better at drinking it, but it has to be ice cold. I can't drink room temperature water, Ugh, gross, but 
Chocolate milk is my go-to and I am obsessed with chocolate milk, especially if it's from Dutch Bros. If you guys have Dutch Bros, you need to get the chocolate milk with caramel because it's bomb. I actually quit gymnastics once um, when I was, when we lived in Utah for two years when I was six and seven, just turned eight. We were actually moving back to Arizona, so I did gym there for two years and I hated it so much and I was in the TOPS program and just hated it and wanted to quit and wanted to have a normal life. So when we moved back to Arizona, my mom decided to take me out of gymnastics. So I quit for like a year, maybe not even a year, something like that. And then she watched Carly Patterson in the Olympics and just had a feeling to put me back in it because I was very talented. And so I got stuck going back into gymnastics, but I did quit once upon a time because I did hate it. So, and look at me now, I never gave up and here I am today. Back. That's true. I did give up, but I came back, you guys. I made it through. A lot of you guys know I'm not flexible, like, at all. And I'm telling you, I try really, really hard to work on my flexibility, and it has gotten better. But anytime I go to physical therapy or go to a new therapist, whatever it is, they just can't believe how nothing, like, my wrists don't bend, my joints don't move. Like, I can't like literally move anything, it's terrible. So I mean, it, it kind of benefits me in a way because I am really strong, so I feel like it helps me to not get as injured. But, well, I don't know if you can see it, but I literally, not flexible, I can barely move my arms. This is what's crazy is I can make a three like this. So like, I know you could do like one, two, three with your fingers, but when I do a three like this, I can do it with this hand but with this hand, I can't make a three <laughs> with my fingers. <laughs> so I'm just literally, I have, I'm just stiff every part of my body. So I hope you guys can really appreciate how I can do gymnastics with having no flexibility anywhere. So, and I can't even do a bridge. I am obsessed with Taylor Swift. I love her. She is my idol. And... I just wish I could meet her, so maybe one day, Taylor Swift, I love you, girl, you're the best. I love to sing in the shower and pretty much anywhere, if I'm in the car, whatever, and it sounds really terrible, so Jonas always tells me to be quiet because it hurts his ears. So I did not get born with music talents, I play the violin in what was it, elementary school, and I was pretty good, but I could not read music, and I would get really confused, and it just really irritated me, so yeah, music, music, I'm not musically talented, so at least I got the sports side of things. I hate yoga with a passion, I think it's because I'm not flexible, and it just hurts, so it feels like um, a stretching session more than like a relaxing, peaceful, good kind of stretch it's like a painful get me out of here kind of scenario for me at least anyway but I do want to try goat yoga because I think goats are so cute and I've always wanted to have one on my back while I was doing yoga so I have to try that so if you guys have tried yoga or goat yoga let me know how it is because I really want to try that my favorite food is Mexican and I am obsessed with french fries. So if you know me, I love french fries. I could eat french fries for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, french fries are just my go-to. I love french fries. But not so much anymore, and I'll tell you why in a couple questions. I love scary movies. I used to watch them all the time. I feel like since I've been married to Jonas, when we first started dating, we would watch scary movies literally all the time. And it was super nice because if I was ever scared, I just had him to like cling on to. Um, and it's so weird because I love scary movies, but after I watch a scary movie, I get like terrified and I can't take a shower or I can't fall asleep or I can't like when we were dating, I would be rooming by myself. And so it'd be really hard to fall asleep. So like that was the only thing I hated about watching scary movies, but I love scary movies. I do not know anything about sports, which is like really sad. Like I'll watch basketball and I know basketball pretty well. I only really like to watch basketball because of Jonas. He loves it. So it's gotten me to like it a lot better. And I feel like with other sports, if I'm like in an in a arena, then like I really enjoy it and like to watch it. But other than that, like 
I just think it's really boring. I think sports are boring. I think football, I'm sorry, I don't want to judge, but football I feel like is a waste of time and it's just really boring and I don't get why it's so big. Yeah, I don't like football. I only know when they get a touchdown. That's about it. And if I wanted to be a sports broadcaster, which I do, I don't know if I could do other sports just because I don't know anything about them and I'd have to learn every rule about them, which I don't know if that sounds that fun to me. And I love watching the Olympics, but I don't always really know what goes on for other sports. So yeah. I hate reading books. I do not enjoy it. I feel like every time I read a book, I am so stressed or have something else on my mind that I can't just like dial in and just like read a book and like really enjoy it and a lot of people say well that's because you're not reading a book that's good and I'm like no I just don't like it I think it's boring and then sometimes I don't even know what words mean and I'm like well I don't want to sit there and look it up and then have to read that to understand the book so I just hate reading it's just not my thing which I probably should read more because it'll help me be a lot smarter I'm not like the smartest person in the world so I just, yeah, I don't like reading. I hate books. Don't give me one. Haven't you never finished one, though? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never finished a book. Like, even in college, high school, I've never read a full book. I've just used side notes and different <laughs> stuff to make my way through because I can't read a book. I hate it. All right. I love ketchup. Ketchup is so good. If you give me french fries, I don't think I'll eat them because they don't have ketchup. And same with everything else. If there's not ketchup for my chicken nuggets or my burger or anything that is good with ketchup, I probably won't eat it because I need ketchup. So if Jonas ever goes somewhere and he forgets to ask for ketchup for me, I, I'm upset because if we're not at home, I can't get the ketchup out of my fridge. And then I'm like, why well, don't want to eat my meal? My meal's ruined. So I am a huge sucker for ketchup. I have never watched what I ate my entire life until like these last six months, maybe not even six months of my gymnastics career. I've always just eaten what I wanted to, chicken nuggets, hamburgers, french fries. Like Jonas would make fun of me because when we first met, he's like, how are you like such a good athlete, but you eat junk? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like I've just never had to worry about it and I function just fine, like living off of chicken nuggets. So. Anyway, I have now decided to be kind of gluten-free. Obviously, I'll have a little bit of gluten here and there, so I'm not a completely 100% gluten-free. Gluten can cause a lot of inflammation is what I've heard and a bunch of different things. So I decided going into the Olympic year, I just really wanted to be a lot healthier and try to drink more water and just eat stuff that will fuel and give me energy. And I feel like it has made such a difference and I feel so much better. So Jonas has definitely rubbed off on me because he kind of eats whatever too, but he is a lot more healthier than I am. And he drinks like 10 gallons of water a day, which I don't know how he does that, but um, I'm doing a lot better. So I feel like that's kind of crazy that I've never cared about my diet until now, but um, I'm glad that I've changed it. And I feel like it's been a, it has been very beneficial and has helped me tremendously. Anyway, those were all the fun facts about me. Um, don't forget to leave your facts down in the comments. I really want to get to know more about you guys. You seriously are so awesome. And I'd love to get to know more about my fans and what you guys do and what you love to do. So don't forget to comment down below and thanks for watching.